had something in my eye. <laughs> like, what stop. was that? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That felt good. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Mele Kaliki Mako. That was, I think oh. that, that was the right feel, right? That was the right feel? Oh, yeah, that was. But, man. While we were doing that, I was trying to pick it up a little bit more on the intensity, but my pick was, like, not cooperating. Like, I like those muted parts, because, like, there was a section where we were just, like, super locked. Yeah. I was that just was like, nice. what? Even, like, what? whatever, like, I don't know, lines you were doing rhythmically matched up to what I was doing. I was just like, what? All right. <laughs> will, you, will you take it? Is that... Passable. I gotta play in my mic, but you guys took me for a ride. That was amazing. Alright. So like here. Yeah, we got we got the Woo! approval. Fuck, yeah. That that's the one. That's the that arrangement fun. we're gonna do when we play that. It's and it's very open too. <laughs> There's like room for a lot of things to to go on. Try to do like um like holding back from doing certain things because I do not want to scratch this yeah that's <laughs> that too Chuck was watching the whole thing oh my god oh, no, he's gonna scratch it <laughs> it has the tree on it <laughs> cause but it's the uke this one's up for auction now and um what a uke oh yeah give Clay's take on it cause I already I already got to add my fair share of 
Enjoying that duke. <laughs> I gotta say, this is probably my favorite Chuck Moore that's came came through. Um, I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> You're not just saying that, huh? Right? I remember, we were we were talking about this earlier, and we were like, same for the podcast. I was like, don't worry, I I want to say it again. <laughs> There's more richness, right? Am I, is yeah. it just me? It, it's extremely rich, and it's like every note pops out. You play up here. Yeah, jeez. Like, the same velocity is present. It's just that, you know, of course, it's going to have more sustain up here. But then that... But... That's clear as a... It's like real bell-like. Right when I opened this case and played one chord, I was like, whoa! <laughs> hey! Yeah. Take has... me to dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about bringing in my uke to compare just because I was like I think it is the best like I thought mine was the best time. oh but like your aged one there's the, there's that one that one is like that's still a, a hard I don't know one. I think this is anyways <laughs> this is an amazing one yeah I mean, oh they're all amazing but but I think this one's even more amazing or better the most well, amazing gifts you know the yeah, tree if that's a word yeah I'll, use, I'll take it <laughs> we'll just make it up <laughs> amazing is the tree like isn't just sought after for like being beautiful mahogany yeah there's you know quite a bit of that but it's got like this rosewood type tone but it's still got the mahogany qualities so it's just a really amazing set of uh back in size oh yeah Ulu kind of looks like mahogany too it's like a tone wise it's like a buff mahogany yeah it's like mm -hmm. goes to the gym frequently <laughs> it's three times a week it leans more towards cedar oh I thought but it then it's warmer yeah I thought it's it like a warmer like kind of sprucey as far as like the the responsiveness you know when you pluck oh a note, like the, there's like that real punch to it yeah it is punchy density is kind of in between you know oh. like a spruce and a mahogany or oh, cedar wow. and mahogany. So it's just slightly denser or stiffer and slightly softer. It's, it's, a, it's a soft wood, but it leans more, uh, you know, getting towards that uh, middle ground of mahogany. There's a glow to it too, though, on the yeah, eyes, right? It's like this. I don't know. I mean, if. The angels oh, are singing. Yeah, the angels are singing. <laughs> the, the angels of Christmas. The reason why we singing. don't have, like, Ulu soundboards is it's hard to it's a find window. a big enough tree. But, man. You know what's weird? I don't know if it's because the algorithm is listening to us. Or, I mean, not the algorithm. The machine <laughs> is listening to us. But I log into YouTube... Uh, the, the following day and they're like here's some Ulu recipes and oh. I, <laughs> that was funny. now I'm like oh but it's actually really good because it's a good replacement for potatoes you know yeah, if you want it is yeah it's much more healthier so <clears throat> tasty too and yeah. you can make good ukuleles out of Ulu <laughs> well the tree at least very versatile if you, if you consume all the fruits that it produces and yeah. it's ready to retire you turning it into an ukulele aren't trees awesome like that <laughs> And it turns into not just a piece of art, but something that can create beautiful music. And oh, yeah. This is, uh, I never tried a, an Ulu top until we got Chuck's uke. Deliver the most beautiful tones uh, to the ears. It's of like we would say tones for days, but it's like tone forever. <laughs> the tone. The tone. Mahogany. <laughs> It's like the right amount of like punch. Yeah, it's like you don't have to play hard on this instrument at all. That's the action too, yeah. Yeah, like really. Like when you start digging in, it's it's not even buzzing. That's crazy. I'm like, what is this? Like below two point action. I'm like, dang, this is yeah. <laughs> Some kind of magic rituals over there in Puna. I don't know. They bless all the Puna trees. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're gonna be a good. You're gonna be an ukulele. You're gonna be perfect. You're gonna be an ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> You're all gonna be ukuleles now. <laughs> Hearing you play it, there's a nice, almost vintage kind of yeah, vintage it's... ukulele kind of sound to it. But this has just been made, and that's what's crazy about it. You can get like an eight sound from the start. I think you found yourself a <laughs> um, probably one in a billion <laughs> ukulele. You know, it's chances of finding one. Yeah. Yeah, like even before you get to all the art and everything. Yeah. I know, it's like the first thing you would you notice when you take this out of the case is just all the detail that he already puts on all of his instruments. You know. And everything's all done in house by one man. The man <sighs> with the master plan and the perfect hand <laughs> <laughs> to do scrim trial, of course, <laughs> and build the finest ukuleles you can get. Jeez. I'm still buzzing off that intro song. <laughs> you guys killed it. <laughs> it would suck like you get home and you're like, where's the audio? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> like, it's for some reason it's gone. I mean, I wouldn't mind playing it again. That was, that was amazing. My contribution weird. to that is saying, I wonder if you could do something different with that. <laughs> <laughs> right away he's like oh could get spicy with it yeah that was but yeah you know what's a, a really cool thing about the tree is like the bark was spiraled around it how cool is that what? the first time they tried to get it like they failed it fell down in a ravine like in the 60s <laughs> but then sometime in the 70s they went back for it have they ever found like another tree like that Be again? Bro, this is the I know it's tree. The, but there's that, gotta be some that has to have there must be a brother like, or kind of like almost uh, another tree. Yeah, right, <laughs> you know, right, right, like, right, right, right. like this is the other tree. The like, other tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's Come not on. quite the tree because right, I mean like, obviously look at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure they looked hard in that forest. Oh man. It's the god the god tree. The country. <laughs> it's like when you pick this up, all you you think about is like, wow, this. It sounds like it can play anything you, you throw at it. Well, maybe for you. <laughs> oh, it's like, it's like like you can play like the lava song, and it'll sound beautiful, you know. Because <laughs> like what? That's the beauty of like really great ukes is how simple you can play on them and it just sounds amazing. Yeah. And for most of us, that's all we're gonna do on ukes. So, yeah. <laughs> Try our best. <laughs> that's where great ukes come into play. It actually takes a lot more skill to make inexpensive ukes sound great. Oh yeah. It's like with ukes like this, you kind of can just be okay and sound great <laughs> I mean it's not going to make your playing better but you're going to sound a little better while you play uh, gonna... I mean I don't I don't wish but like if there was an option to hear it with a different like is it like a cedar top or spruce top what it would be like I think maybe spruce would be too bright I think spruce would be too bright I like I like the the in between sound of a ooh, you know, and it's like the in between the mid range is like it's a wide mid range. Yeah, and it's nice. it is, know, just the overtones in general on on. on this is on the only the amazing. second you we've gotten from Chuck this year, but yeah, he definitely sends us over the bangers. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh. Like, do the play in the past the seventh a little bit more. It's super responsive. The intonation's great. 
Sorry. Where it it's, inspires you to write, write things. One day I'm gonna I'm gonna order one from Chuck. Hopefully. hopefully You've been saying that ready. to me for the last I don't know, like two years. years. Yeah. Two three years. Yeah. But you know, I mean, money. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Corey's playing the best $600 acoustic guitar on the market. I agree. I never really like say stuff like that, but it's kind of fun just to like throw stuff <laughs> out there like the best $600 guitar on the market. <laughs> I mean, and it looks so beautiful too. Really nice. It, it does definitely look and sound like something you'd expect I, to pay a lot more for. I yeah. I mean, it's I, like, mean I I say that like you know best six hundred dollar guitar on the market without any you know that's just <laughs> but, facts. Right, like, just, right, facts. Right, right, just uh, listen. Here's me. my charts on how I came to this conclusion. <laughs> From but, a, yeah. a score from one to ten, this. But I stand by it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like this is a fantastic, fantastic guitar. It even comes with a nice kick bag at that. Yeah. Yeah. The what strings do we put in? This is the Diodario, the new Diodario XTs. The XTs. Sometimes we, we use the XS. Um, if you butter Corey up nice. enough, he might put elixirs on it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is really nice for the... Elixirs are too expensive just for... <laughs> yeah. But... Sorry. What do you think? Would you put elixirs on there? Or no, you I like use, th This is actually really, really close to elixirs, but I think it has a little bit more of a natural Oh, that's sound. the Adario's new coated. Yeah, they're super... But they're like not slick. as coated, right? Th you don't hear that bright kind of thwack, right? I like no. Call it when you when you no. like pluck really hard. Still really... It's not as brash. I'd say they, some of the other strings that we put on there like have more of a sharper kind yeah. of piercing Is that your sound. new favorite, Corey? I think so. I've been using it for a while. Mm -hmm. no, it's, it's... Yeah, this has been the podcast guitar for what, like six months. <laughs> so, bright enough, really warm, out of tune. So me and Chuck use the same... Um, Rebels for fluorocarbon that I use for the Aho set, but um, he uh, what has he got on there? The Thomas Dick Infields, what's he's going for the yeah, three and four now, right? Yeah, for three and four. Well, what was he using before? Like a long um, time, well, he switched it a, a long times, time, right? Yeah, he was using like a 30,000, um, you know, the smooth one, mm. which I still like on his. I mean, like, I kind of prefer it, it gives more bass, but then. Overall balance, I think he's right that this set is like where it's at. But I just like that deep rich, you know. But this yeah. one has it. I oh mean. yeah. Wow. 
But you guys know how, how, how it goes. Like, if I stuck a 30, you know, um, smooth wound on there, it'd even be deeper. And mm, boomier. Yeah, I mean, it would it would be nice, you know, but, yeah, maybe too much for some people. Saw so that at a bag of chips. Is that the same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get it if you can. Awesome, Yuke. Amazing. I want to feature next a couple of EEVs. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, okay. if I wanted any boba, and I said bubinga. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, deaf? <laughs> bubinga. So this is bubinga? <laughs> bubinga. Like, no? For real? Oh, it is bubinga. Wow. That is a weird color. I thought you were going to say that's a weird word. <laughs> I thought it was... That's a super cool cut. Yeah. I thought it was like some kind of leopard spotted, I don't know, bird's eye something. Yeah. <laughs> Tasmanian tiger or whatever. I wasn't here when um, Charlie dropped him off, but he texted me, these two sound really good. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if we should... He mentioned to you the... Um, it's like a little... Well, I yeah, the yeah. Bird. The um, soprano is discounted for... I don't, I don't think I'm gonna really capture it, but it's I'll... really minor. Oh, I'll take a close up. Yeah, there's. It's really small. You can't even, can't even see it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able. <laughs> yeah, it's like I actually have to be like, whoa, okay. There's a micro. Like, they're so small. It's like I could. <laughs> he, he said when he was how, doing how, the strings with him. Like, you know, Charlie is, though. He's very... Just straight up, straightforward. Yeah, if like, there's yeah. any imperfection, then, yeah. That's a quality. You know, yeah. <laughs> discount. <laughs> but the tone, yeah. Yeah, this, this thing is like... It's loud. Okay, go first, play. It bangs. Oh, did I... We got a very beautiful soprano ukulele. It's an EEV and it's uh, built for our, from our good friend Charlie, Mr. Fukuba. This is um, a very good sounding soprano. I think it's probably one of my favorites to come through this year. And it features a figured port Orford cedar top. So, and there's a whole lot of things going on. Um, if you look at the inlay on for the rosette, there's also the binding that's done in rope style, which is every piece is a different type of wood. As we turn it to the sides, you'll notice that there is also koa binding going along the top and bottom of the ukulele. Now the back and sides kind of pretty much had me stumped for a while. I couldn't guess what it was and even when we found out what type of wood this is I was like really but this is a bubinga and as you can see it is extremely figured um, pretty much bird's eye um, you know pretty much that kind of static uh, quilted whatever you want to call it it is bada bing <laughs> bada boom bada bubinga <laughs> bada bubinga <laughs> but yeah it's a great wood to build instruments, some of like the best instruments that I've gotten to, to try out was made out of bubinga. Um, we got mahogany neck, Koto UVT tuners, and we have the we have a coal faceplate. We have Roman numerals for 
uh, in place of the fret dots on the fretboard as well as side dots that is inlaid on the coil binding that features is featured all throughout the the sides of the ukulele including the fretboard so yeah get them what you can um, like we've mentioned a few times before um, this is his private stash of woods that he's been putting on the side and he's using nothing but the best of what he's got so you won't really see these too often in fact once once he decides he's not gonna <laughs> use that stash or if he runs out then you probably won't see much of these anymore so, holidays are coming up if you have someone special in mind that you're looking for a gift for something like this might be yourself <laughs> or yourself <laughs> Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Let nobody no. else is gonna buy for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or you can buy someone something that you would want yourself. Yeah, you, <laughs> and gotta, you can borrow it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta put it on the. <laughs> gotta put it on the secret card. I know. All right, let's feature this little guy. Beautiful. You know, there's a lot of uh, options in the, especially the tenor range for people that love customs. But it's like if your preferred size is soprano, it's like highly limited. And I mean, obviously, like you do get, you know, that custom worth out of a soprano like this. Oh, yes. I mean, not every soprano, uh, well, I haven't really like there. There are some sopranos that make like they can. You can pretty much play anything you want on it. And something like this would definitely be one of them. Um, not just because of the sound, but I like that my fingers don't feel cramped <laughs> on it. Because usually the spacing for most sopranos when you go from fret to fret are super narrow. But if you look closely at um, how these are designed. Um, it's almost like it was meant for an adult to, to enjoy. So, get what you can. <laughs> All right, Corey, what you got? So, I got a tenor with the traditional three hole sound hole on top here. This is a torrified spruce top. Got two pick guards on both top and bottom, if you're wondering what that is. Uh, abalone purfling. For the binding, we got rock light. Yeah. Which is a good alternative to, you know, ebony. Ebony is kind of in a shortage. It's 
kind of always been. Um, and this one looks like ebony. It'll, you'll easily mistake mistaken this for ebony. It's actually rock light. It's a common, commonly used alternative material on guitars and ukuleles. I think uh, Blackbird uses it, right? I mean, There's a lot of people now, yeah. Did you notice what he used for the faceplate? That's Purple Heart Horrified. Oh. So it looks like ebony, right? What? That's Purple Heart? Yeah. Wow. So when you cook Purple Heart, <laughs> it turns into ebony. Oh. Similar densities from the wood, too, but interesting. Wow. I, I read that. I was like, whoa, that's, that's different. I don't know if you could do that. <laughs> Is that like... Has he been doing that for a while with Purple Heart? I don't. I didn't new? ask him, but yeah. Because it, it could have fooled me like all this time. It looks exactly the same as. No, that's either. the first time I've seen it on the spec. So. Oh. I, but wow. They're yeah. like, hey, let's <clears throat> uh, put this Purple Heart in the oven. Comes out. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, it's just ebony. <laughs> <laughs> If you really look at it in the in the light, it, it well, when a you cook color. an eggplant long enough, <laughs> <laughs> there's like a a bit of like a gray, dark, like ash kind of color to it. That's that's cool. Um, back and sides, myrtle, really nice myrtle. Uh, good tone wood. We've had a bunch of myrtle ukuleles come through over the years. They all sound great. This one as well. Um, we got a three-piece back. So you got this beautiful coal strip running down here, separated by herringbone on both sides. Let's take a look at the butt here. You have a nice strap button, and the herringbone continues from the back to the, the butt here. Ebony fretboard bridge. Torrified purple heart faceplate with the EEV logo on here, fitted with beautiful all black UPT planetary tuners. Some of the best, as I always say. I like to use them, I have them on a couple of my, my ukuleles. So, yeah, check it out. Torrified spruce, myrtle, back and sides, as you would expect from Charlie. <laughs> single hole like that last maple one we recorded like the overtones are like really yeah you know what sucks um on that maple one i i did i took out your description of it because um was it offensive no <laughs> actually no <laughs> this it's, time it's it. because um it's not a spruce top it's um it's a port orford that's right port orford cedar I think Charlie did tell me. Was. I was editing the video and I looked closer and I looked at my pictures and I'm like, why did I even think spruce? It doesn't even look like spruce. Why do I always listen to that idiot? <laughs> Just... 
Real quickly, I want to put that maple one in your hands just to hear how his three hole and the single hole kind of vary because they yeah. both have mm. their own character and it's interesting. I thought these, that one sold already. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Oh. The birds are watching you. <laughs> A lot of birds. You know, I, I thought I was all about the three hole, but listening to, I don't, not 100% now. That one's a little bit warmer. Uh, a little bit more body, but this is sweet too. That one just has a tiny bit less. Mid. It's a little bit more focused though, if that's the sound you're gonna go for, I could say. Like, I, I could see within like a, a group setting this be, being like the tone to punch through. But yeah, this one does have a little bit more body. It's just.
beautiful. Dang. The Norwegian sand dunes. It's the San Paulo wood. <laughs> of Hey Baby from Pure Heart. <laughs> no, that's not... <clears throat> well... I mean... Yeah, their, their version. Rendition, yeah, right. Our rendition of their rendition. It's a cover of a cover. <laughs> it's a double layer blanket. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Go first, Corey. <clears throat> so this series is sort of an extension of the ATD MTD CR series uh, the model name is a little bit different and um, yeah the only thing different really you still got that cedar top you got the nice maple binding on top rope rosette here but now they come in rosewood so the same rosewood that you see in the um, sorry the pro classic series the RT this is an RT model, just um, I guess one step below of what a Pro Classic would be. And it doesn't have back binding, but you have 
I mean, this is basically a little bit more than you need, I think. <laughs> you got radius fretboard that comes standard on these models. And um, lightweight, it looks like a really good instrument. The um, wood combination is this is one of the best you can get alongside spruce and rosewood. But um, yeah, this is the RT C cedar top, rosewood back and sides. smooth very warm. forgot to mention it comes with a truss rod <laughs> all Pono tanners go with that truss rod <laughs> I noticed on both of these two really nice overtones as you go up on those high notes Re rings out sweet good sustain on throughout the whole range too just realized Kale has a spruce top I thought we were playing both cedar tops and he had a high G <laughs> <laughs> We're not even <laughs> drinking tonight, Corey. <laughs> you might not be drinking, but I have a drink. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I snuck it in my. I snuck it in before I started. Uh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good thing we did it. I did have a very nice sandwich, though. So <clears throat> it was nice. the egg salad teriyaki chicken. I thought, from... I thought because we weren't drinking tonight, you decided to be picky about the height of your chair. <laughs> <laughs> if you were wanna... drunk, you wouldn't have cared. <laughs> it all feels good to me. <laughs> Maybe that's why. I don't really know what I'm thinking. I'm drunk all the time. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to buy a, a, another chair because uh, we should probably drink less. I think the better investment is a cooler. <laughs> can just get a good sip of booze. No. Uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to drink anymore. Done with that stuff. Yeah. Bad for the liver. Too old for that. <laughs> body's like, <laughs> like you can feel the sound like, you can feel like all the tone and everything bouncing all, all around inside of the body so i have the pono rts that stands for rosewood tenor spruce top and it's good to that, that we got these available um this is definitely another option for those of you who want to experiment with different types of sounds um I know, I know it is like a kind of a journey finding what sound works best for you, but you also learn along the way, you'll find out that certain ukuleles work better for different pieces of music. Um, Rosewood Spruce, known as one of the best combinations that you, that you could build an ukulele out of, um, a guitar, many types of other instruments. And what you get is a very balanced sound. So Spruce Top um, for this ukulele, we have binding on the sides, ro Indian rosewood for the sides and back. And it's very beautiful looking wood. Um, normally when you think of rosewood, you know, usually a lot of the sets you, see, you commonly see are more on the planar side, but 
one of the cool things about Pono as a manufacturer is that they use rosewood sets with different types of color tones in them, which makes them very unique. Um, ebony, uh, actually, yeah, ebony bridge fingerboard, faceplate. We got the Grover tuners in black and gold, satin mahogany neck, and the handy dandy trust rod that all Pono tenors come with, especially if you live outside of Hawaii where it's humidity is fluctuating and you, you know it might cause your neck to bend forward or back depending on how dry or moist it is wherever you live. I like how Clay says trust rod. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better name for it. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, like, that's why I'm just like, I trust the rod that's holding together my ukulele, <laughs> you know, <laughs> keeping the neck from warping. It's like you give it a good chiropractic adjustment. If it ever no, you just get an Allen wrench, it's like... <laughs> Yeah, that is cool. Good. Our uh, <laughs> our neighbor next door, his name is uh, his name is Alan, and he's a oh yeah, that's right. I need to I need to see him soon. I need I'm due for an adjustment. <laughs> No, it's gonna be it's gonna be bothering me the whole night. Do A B? A B? Bruce Cedar. Alright. A B? A B. Oh, I I'll take some, some shrimp. Take some Ebby yeah. fry right now. <laughs> Did you know the Garlic Portuguese egg. brought the style of tempura to Japan? No, it did not. The Portuguese. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Like totally different, but it's the style of cooking where they dip it in the batter and you deep fry. Oh, they, they just they... modified it. <laughs> they, Portuguese did it with like more vegetables. Taught you how to deep fry stuff. Oh, bam! <laughs> now watch your society get. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Portuguese brought the ukulele. <laughs> Crafty people. Just a good food, a good music. <laughs> yeah. wow. They're always funny. Yeah. <laughs>
ankle just yeah. cracked four times. Jeez. Yeah, you can hear like that, the lows kind of like pulsing. on this one uh, mahogany concert Maloa. if I can get ukulele yeah. play a sound sample on that and then um, I want to say happy holidays to all you guys we love you so much for your support um, and just sharing music sharing your comments your love um, let us know whatever we can do to help we have a special going on right now in fact, um, the two ponos that um, Corey and Clay are playing might might be found at our holiday specials page, and it's some banging deals. Cause you know, like we're not the type of company that um, marks stuff up real high so we can put it uh, down and you know pretend like it's a big sale. The sale that we have going on right now is on already discounted, really, you know good prices to begin with which is where our starting point is which is why we don't do like a lot of sales because it's like yeah that's kind of as good as it gets but this this is the one time uh, in the year where it we we give some serious serious deals so check that out the ukulele site.com and then yeah we're gonna close out with just uh, one last little sound sample of a mahogany mauloa concert you wanted to say something oh yeah sorry so um should we double up on the store on friday i can i can work i feel like it's gonna be yeah. super busy i'm i'm off so is um, that cool yeah so check us out as well up in holly Eva if you're on the island stuff yourself with some turkey get some rest and then come visit us on friday we'll be open a little bit early all day till seven let's make it a long day yeah <laughs> Yes. Get your as long as you guys are still walking in, we'll stay open. Corey will yeah. give you some turkey leftover. <laughs> yeah. Turkey sandwich. <laughs> This is the Maoloa TC50. This is an all solid mahogany body. Um, features armrests, binding, rosette, inlays on the fingerboard. Um, very, very nice. And all that at a very uh, incredible price of just over five something. So, just over $500 gets you a really beautiful ukulele. If you're into, if you're looking for an instrument or just like things that stand out visually, um, this would be one to consider. And it also sounds really good too. <laughs> so yeah, get yours while they're still available.
super warm sounding. Yeah, that sounds really sweet. Yeah, these are uh, quite affordable for what you're uh, looking at there. All solid mahogany too. Thank you guys. And we'll be back next week. See you Friday. <laughs> Eat as much food as you can. And I'll see you at the store. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs>